Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Thank you both for being here and um, for your service to this country. Secretary Wilson, as I know you're aware, we have had issues in Portsmouth, New Hampshire with uh, the water because of perfluorinated car compounds, PFCs, that have gotten into the drinking water for the city of Portsmouth because of um, the former Air Force Base at Pease. And the levels there are 12 and a half times higher than what was the provisional health advisory from the EPA. Um, we have more than 1,500 granite staters who have lived and worked around the air base, who have learned that their blood contains elevated uh, levels of these chemicals. And I very much appreciate the Air Force's efforts to date to try and help address um, the pollution from um, the operations there at Pease. And you provided funding to ATSDR, which is the federal agency that um, conducted a feasibility assessment on the health study for those exposed to the contaminated water. Um, but my understanding is that you have, the Air Force has said it's not able to fund um, a follow-on health study. Can you talk about why that is and what can be done to address this, which is a continuing uh, threat to people in the Seacoast region? Senator, uh, I, I am familiar somewhat with this issue. Um, I, the, I think the question is whether the Air Force is the right entity to do, and whether we even have the, the authorities to do a human health study on a civilian population around the base. I think the General Counsel's offices, both in the Office of the Secretary of Defense as well as the, the Air Force, are taking a look at that. And then we're happy to, to work with you and others on what's the best way to do a human health study. And it, it may not be that that's, that's not our core competency, honestly. No, I certainly understand that the Air Force would not be doing the study itself. But I also understand that the Navy funded ATSDR to do a study at Camp Lejeune, um, a health a similar kind of health study. And I just wondered, what's the difference between the Navy's um, ability to do that and the Air Force's? Is that just willingness? Is there some other um, issue there? Senator, we heard from your staff. In fact, we got from your staff the, the, the tip with respect to Camp Lejeune. And we've asked the General Counsel to talk to the Marine Corps and Navy General Counsel, find out how they did that, and see if we can find you an answer. Well, thank you. I very much appreciate that, and I know the people in New Hampshire do as well. General Goldfein, I want to follow up on the comments about the, um, the KC-46, because I understand that um, Senator McCain earlier raised his concerns about where we are with the program and some of the delays. But one of the other challenges with getting this new um, refueling tanker out are the changes that need to be made at some of the bases to address the um, bed downs, the sustainment, restoration, and modernization. Can you talk about those challenges as well? Yes, ma'am. So right now in the 18 budget, we have funded new mission, uh, MILCON, to make sure that we are meeting our responsibilities for the bed down. Because as you know, you have to have some of that completed before the weapon system actually arrives. Right. You know, this morning we're actually performing, our acquisition lead is actually doing a schedule review with the company uh, on where we are relative to the schedule. As of this time, uh, we, still, we still believe that we're going to be able to absorb the delays at McConnell and Altus, and then we'll be back on track by the time we actually then uh, arrive at Pease Air Force Base. So the 18 budget has the milk on in it. Great. Thank you very much. Secretary Wilson, there's been a lot of news in the last two days about um, what's happening in Qatar in the Middle East and the um, Arab countries who have uh, expressed their concern about the way Qatar is operating a number of things with respect to Iran and Saudi Arabia. I, I wonder if you're concerned at all about um, our air base there and the operations that we need to continue to perform out of Qatar and um, the challenges that we're seeing. Senator, the, uh, the air operations at Al-Udid are continuing without interruption. Um, of course, the Air Force and the, the Department of Defense has, has a number of uh, backup plans and those kinds of things. Uh, but uh, uh, it is our hope that this, uh, this, that this kind of resolves itself with or without the assistance of the, 
of the uh, American Secretary of State. So from our perspective, it's largely, at this point, a diplomatic issue, and our air operations continue unabated. So there's been no threat that we have to remove our air base there? No. Thank you.